Brandon Walker is live at Westview where the meeting is going to take place this evening. Brandon? Meeting expected to convene tonight at 6.15. Also today, we were able to get our hands on the initial police report filed by one of the parents of the girls Kelly Burke is accused of berating. That report initially filed by the West University Place Police Department. The initial incident report from the West University Police Department is brief and doesn't exactly specify what West U City Councilman Kelly Burke is accused of saying. Rather, on page two, the responding officer writes, quote, it was reported the suspect Burke became irritated over a shirt one of the juveniles was wearing and began to yell obscene and profane language directed at the juveniles. Those juveniles, four girls who were in line at Tiny's Milk and Cookies in West U on Saturday, March 31st. One of the girls wore a Make America Great Again t-shirt in support of President Trump. That, according to the father of one of the girls in the group, did not sit well with Burke, who was there too. Came up to them and screamed at them, um, grab them by the girls. When we interviewed him last week, he asked to remain anonymous because of threats he says his family has received since this ordeal made national headlines. At that point, the girls are getting kind of scared, and then the woman starts, you know, going MAGA, MAGA, MAGA. Or make America great again. Burke has refused Channel 2's repeated requests for an on-camera interview, but issued an apology through her attorney. And that meeting again expected to convene at 6.15. We're going to go inside and let you know what happens, of course, on air and online at click2houston.com. We're live for you tonight in Westview. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.